Today I'm going to show you how to tie two of the best knots you could ever learn. One is a loop knot called the Zeppelin loop and the other is a bend knot for tying two ropes together called the Zeppelin bend. And in many regards these two knots are better than their bowline and their sheet bend counterparts. So the Zeppelin loop is the one that we're going to learn how to tie first and once we know this method it's pretty easy to tie the Zeppelin bend. So I have two loop knots, the Zeppelin loop and the Bolin. Now the Bolin is far and away the most versatile knot you could ever learn because of all of its different variants and the number of places where you can use it. And for most cases, the Bolin is going to be more than su sufficient as a fixed loop knot. However, the Zeppelin as a single fixed loop knot actually has some advantages over the Bolin. The first of which, some people don't like that the tag end of the, on the standard Bolin lands inside of the loop. Well, obviously that's not a problem in the Zeppelin. And the Bolin can be subjective to cyclical loading where it can start to loosen off. And the Zeppelin is a lot more resistant to that than the Bolin is. So let's learn how to tie the Zeppelin loop. The first thing we want to do is we want to come down our rope to determine distance, whatever you want the size of your loop to be. Usually if you want a kind of a small loop, you go down about 20 to 24 inches down the line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn a loose overhand knot into the rope. Now we'll take that overhand and our standing in and our working in, and we're going to pull them together while opening up those loops to form an upper and a lower loop. Now we can take the tag in and we're going to come up through the bottom of the upper loop and then we're going to roll it under itself. And then to finish this knot, all we have to do is pass the working end through the bottom loop going in the opposite direction as well as the new loop that has formed underneath of it. So we'll pass that through there and then pull, release these, set the knot, and you just formed the Zeppelin loop. Now the Zeppelin is a little bit more complicated to tie than the Bolin, but its benefits are worth learning it. And once you've learned how to tie the Zeppelin loop in this method, you've also learned the Zeppelin bend, which is a far superior bend knot. Now that we've learned how to tie the Zeppelin loop, we're going to use that same method to tie the Zeppelin bend with one small difference. Instead of going 20 to 24 inches down this line in order to make that first overhand, we're going to make it quite a bit shorter because this is not going to form a loop, but rather it's going to have tag ends going out either side. So we'll just shorten that up a bit, make our loose overhand, pinch our standing in and our working in back to back, and we'll open up our overhand knot to give us that upper and lower loop. Now, just like before, up through the bottom of the top loop, pass it back under itself, and then going in the opposite direction, we'll pass through the bottom loop and the new loop that forms underneath of it, pull that apart, set and dress the knot, and that is the Zeppelin bend, which in my opinion is one of the best bend knots you could ever learn. Now, this works well in lines that are the same size or relatively close in size to one another. But once you get too far apart, then there's other bend knots like the sheet bend that serve that purpose better. As an example, this is 5 16 and this is half inch line. And so this knot actually works better than the Zeppelin because of the line difference. But if these were the same size, then the Zeppelin would be a far superior bend knot. Now these two knots are not the end all be all. There are other knots in other situations that will work better for fixed loop knots and for bend knots. But if you're looking just for a straight bend or loop knot that will be able to attach to an object regardless of how much pull you put on it and then be able to get it undone, the Zeppelin loop is hard to beat. Consequently, the same thing is true of the Zeppelin bend. If you don't need a specialty bend and your ropes are relatively the same size or equal in size, this is a superior bend knot to most any other bend knot out there, especially for the fact that you can get it untied after it served its purpose. So the Zeppelin loop and the Zeppelin bend, if you learn these two, I think they will serve you very, very well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.